Hi, my name is Haven. Today I'm going to talk about our work trust. <laughs> a quick summary of our work would be we build a new benchmark for the skin tone bias issue of albedo estimation. We analyze the problem and propose a new solution by leveraging the same information. While metaverse is approaching, significant uh, progress has been made on estimating 3D fish shape and albedo from in the wild facial images. We question if these methods are inclusive to face images regardless of the skin tone. To have a systematic investigation, we build a fair benchmark for skin tone accuracy of albedo estimation. The benchmark consists of over 200 subjects balanced over the six skin types uh, illuminated with various lightings, resulting in over 2,000 facial images, all paired with albedo ground truth. Visual assessment is not enough for science, so we propose to use the individual typology angle, a metric that is well correlated with melanin concentration and has been widely used in the field of dermatology. It is objective, continuous, and semantically meaningful, which makes it well suited for the FAIR benchmark. To use ITA as an evaluation metric, we calculate the ITA value for each pixel in the mask shown below, both for the ground truth and predicted albedo. Now let's put this 3D face avatar reconstruction methods into test. Ideally, they should reconstruct the facial albedo with the accurate skin tone close to the ground truth. But you can see that uh, most methods predict very similar albedos. Quantitatively, uh, on a fair benchmark, we measure the average ITA error and biases score, which is the mean and standard deviation of the six per skin type errors. And the final score is the sum of these two, considering both accuracy and bias. As you can see uh, from the right part of the table, their performance changed drastically across the six skin types. How did this happen? The widely adopted basal face model was trained on 200 white skin people uh, with PCA, so it doesn't cover the full range of skin tone. The bias issue is partially due to the limitation of the albedo space, which cannot represent darker skin tone. Diverse albedo space is necessary, but once you have a larger space, the light albedo ambiguity pumps out, as the sample showing above. So we need to constrain something to disambiguate the light albedo ambiguity. Otherwise, the albedo can be anything that compensates the light. And how exactly light and albedo are affecting the rendered image is our main question. By going through the derivation, you can see the rendered pixel is the product of light intensity and the albedo value. Since we always use a photometric loss during training, the rendered image is approximating the input. This means one term goes up, the other term has to go down. What do we do now? Our idea is to constrain lighting uh, by leveraging the scene information. On the left, you see four people are standing in the same scene. The lights are shining on their face should be similar, no matter the intensity or directions. Also, the lights on their face are all coming from the same scene. So we wonder if the scene pixels can tell us something about the light intensity, since it's the key factor modulates the skin tone. For our trust network, we design a two-branch architecture that first encodes the light intensity uh, as the scale term uh, from the whole scene, then encode the light directions uh, from the face crop. Later, the two terms are composed into the uh, full SH parameter. By doing so, we isolate the light intensity information from the face crop, so it works as a constraint during training. Further, uh, the albedo encoder is predicting the albedo not only based on the input face crop, but also on the predicted light intensity. Finally, we put the same consistency idea into practice by leveraging the permutation invariance of the predicted units of focal harmonic. Back to the FAIR benchmark, qualitatively, trust is the only method that is able to predict a diverse facial albedo that much align with uh, the ground truth. Quantitatively, by explicitly addressing the light albedo ambiguity, trust reduced the bias error by 77% and improved the overall accuracy by 56%. Thank you for your watching and welcome to join the FAIR Challenge. Bye.